Anthony Joshua, the WBA, IBF, and WBO World Heavyweight Champion, 22 and 0 with 21 KOs. Let's have a look at his last few opponents. Alexander Povetkin, a former world heavyweight champion, only one loss in his record to Vladimir Klitschko. Joseph Parker, at the time an undefeated WBO world heavyweight champion who was 24 and 0 and in the prime of his life. Before that, he fought Carlos Takam, who was 35 3 and 1, a tough, rugged contender who had been around many time, been around for many years, fought Povetkin and Mike Perez, various other people. Before that, he fought Vladimir Klitschko, who, you know, I re really don't need to explain to you who he is and what he's done, but he was 64 and 4. Before that, he fought Eric Molina, a fringe contender who had given Deontay Wilder trouble. Joshua blew him out in three. Before that, he fought the tough contender, Dominic Brazil, who was 17 and 0 at the time. Joshua had very little trouble with him, stopped him in seven. Before that, he took out Charles Martin in two rounds in one of his easiest fights of his entire career. This is the same Charles Martin. Charles Martin, again, was the IBF champion at the time. 23-0-1. And recently, Charles Martin gave a very good account of himself and put up a very good performance against Adam uh, Kanowski, or Kaunaki, however you want to pronounce it. Before that, Andy Joshua fought Dylan White. Dylan White is number one contender in several sanctioning bodies. Dylan White is the contender who has the best resume right now out of all the contenders in the heavyweight division. None of the contenders have got as good a resume as Dylan White. Not Luis Ortiz, not Joseph Parker, not Derek Chisora, not well, actually, maybe Alexander Povetkin is somebody who you could argue might have a better resume than Dylan White, although some people might argue it. But other than Povetkin, you know, it's Dylan White. He's got a better resume than, as I say, Ortiz and Miller and all these guys. The rest of Anthony Joshua's resume is full of journeymen, French contenders. But from Dylan White all the way through to Povetkin, Povetkin was his 22nd fight. So 22nd, 21st, 20th, 19th, 18th, 17th, 16th, 15th. So from his 15th to his 22nd fight, Joshua's been fighting nothing but champions and top contenders. Let's compare that to his rivals, the people who, the fighters who people claim are way better than Joshua. Joshua was the fraud and they are the real champions, right? The lineal and the WBC. So let's compare what they did in their first 22 fights to what Joshua did. So here's Deontay Wilder. Who did he fight in his 22nd fight? Let's have a look. Where are we at? This is Wilder's 22nd fight against Jesse Altman's. I was in Cancun in Mexico. I think that really says it all, doesn't it? Jesse Altman's, a guy who was 10 and 2. Let's have a look at this Jesse Altman's character. A cruiserweight. And I, I broke Wilder's career down previously in a different video and exposed how many cruiserweights he fought early on in his career. And this is one of the guys he fought, who was a, a career cruiserweight. Look at all these losses. He was coming off a loss when he fought Wilder. You see, I don't really need to go into it as much as I did in the last video I did on, on this subject. But can we really compare this Altman's guy to Povetkin? Is he as good as Povetkin? Well, that's who Deontay Wilder fought in his 22nd fight. If you want to compare like for like. Before that, Wilder fought Marlon Hayes, 23 and 10. I don't need to look at all these guys. David Long, 11, 1 and 2. Daniel Coulter, 17, 3. I mean, these are the people Wilder was fighting from his 15 to his... In fact, 
from his 22nd all the way back to his pro debut. Nothing but journeyman, cruiserweight journeyman, washed up former fringe content. This is who Deontay Wilder was fighting. No champions, no unifications, no top contenders, none of that in his first 22. In fact, it, 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 he must have been about, what, 30 fights in before he fought somebody with a pulse? That's the reality of Deontay Wilder's career. Now, since becoming champion, obviously his level of opposition has improved. It's not like he's been fighting the best, best contenders. He hasn't. He fought one good contender in the Wies Ortiz, and we still don't know how good Ortiz is because Ortiz's resume ain't great. All right? But I'll go as far as saying Ortiz is a good contender, a dangerous fighter, technically good. But that was in what? Wilder's 40th fight or whatever it was? Let's have a look. Yeah, Wilder's 40th fight. And is Luis Ortiz as accomplished as Alexander Povetkin as a professional? Hell no. Anybody who tells you that Ortiz is as accomplished as Povetkin is mentally disturbed. Povetkin has fought much better fighters than Ortiz has fought, both as a professional and as an amateur. Let me see if we can look up Povetkin's amateur resume here. See if they got it on box rec and compare it to Ortiz's amateur resume. Let's see. Yeah, amateur career. Look at Povetkin's amateur career, people. Defeated Robert Camarell, gold medalist, European Championships, World Championship gold medalist, European Championship gold medalist again. Defeated Camarell again, gold medalist at the Olympics. He also beat Kubrat Pulev several times in the amateurs. I know that. And many other top amateurs at the time. Povetkin was the top heavyweight, super heavyweight in the amateurs for years. That's who he was. Can't say the same for Luis Ortiz. See if they've got Luis Ortiz's amateur record. You compare what he achieved as an amateur compared to what Povetkin achieved. his purported amateur records. We don't know this for a fact. It's a very good amateur record. Don't get it twisted. He was a good amateur. But there's no Olympic gold medal. There's some national championship, yes. National championship wins. He's won the Cuban national championship. Oh, sorry, no, he didn't win. Silver medalist, sorry. So he's winning silvers. He won a silver, he lost to... Odenair Solis, a bronze at the national championship. So he ain't winning golds and even in the national championships. Another silver medal in the national championships. A gold medal in the Pan American Championships. A silver at the World Cup. He only got to the quarterfinals in the World Championships in 05. Finally won a gold medal at the National Championships in 06. And got a bronze medal at the National Championships in 08. So his amateur record is nowhere near as good as Povetkin's amateur record in terms of winning major tournaments. World Championships gold medalist, European Championship gold medalist, multiple times, an Olympic gold medalist. But people want to dismiss Joshua's win over Povetkin, but give Deontay Wilder all the credit in the world for beating Ortiz. Povetkin is the more proven fighter. Amateur and pro. Facts. So where are you going with this? <laughs> I'm just giving you the facts, people. Don't take it personally. So let's look at Tyson Fury. Who did he fight in his 22nd fight? Was he as good as Alexander Povetkin, the guy that Fury fought? Let's have a look. 
Here we go. Tyson Fury's 22nd fight was against Joey Abel. Is Joey Abel in the same league as Alexander Povetkin? No. Before that, he fought Steve Cunningham. A cruiserweight. A guy who whose best days were behind him. He was still pretty useful. Don't get it twisted. Steve Cunningham was not a walk in the park for anybody. But his best days were behind him. He was a cruiserweight. And he gave Tyson Fury a life and death struggle in his 21st fight. Facts. Then Kevin Johnson. Again, are these guys as good as Klitschko? Are these guys as good as Povetkin? Are these guys as good as... Po I mean, no, they're not, are they? These guys are not as good as the guys. They're nowhere near as good as the guys that Joshua was fighting at the same stage of his career. Facts. Whether it hurts your feelings or not, these are facts. Your feelings will not change the fact that these are facts. Vinny Madelon, Martin Rogan, Nevin Pikage. Compare them to Povetkin, Parker, Takam, Klitschko. Even Dylan White. Look. Chizora. Is that Tyson Fury's biggest name? The best name on his resume other than Klitschko? Chizora? Tyson Fury's resume is real thin, people. Let's be real. That doesn't mean that he won't go on to be the best heavyweight in the world. He might be. He might go out there and beat Wilder, beat Joshua be everybody and go on a long reign. He might. I don't think he will. I'd be amazed if he did. But he might. I don't know everything. I ain't Nostradamus. None of us are. But as it stands right now, nobody who is actually mentally sane could sit there and say that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder have got better resumes than Anthony Joshua. They didn't have better resumes than Anthony Joshua in their first 22 fights. And even though Wilder has had 40 fights and Fury has had 27 fights, they still don't have better resumes than Joshua, who's only had 22. <laughs> and these are two guys who've only got one belt between them and Joshua's got three belts and they're asking for 50-50. How does that make sense? Anyway, <laughs> drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about everything I talked about in this video. It's that man, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week, covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about two pounds a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.